Bandwagon Film. Bandwagon is a 1940 British comedy film directed by Marcel Varnell and starring Arthur Askey, Richard Murdoch, and Moore Marriott. It was based on the BBC radio show Bandwagon. Plot. Arthur Askey and Stinker Murdoch, two out-of-work performers, are living on the roof of the broadcasting house in central London. After being called in for an audition with the BBC three months before, they were forgotten about and settled down to live there waiting for their big chance. One day an item from their clothes line falls and hits Claude Pilkington, senior figure at the BBC, who has them evicted. They are forced to pack up all their belongings and leave. While driving home that evening, one of the tires on Pilkington's car gets a puncture from broken glass lying on the road. It has been put there by the owners of the Jack in the Box restaurant, who hope their cabaret act will be given a contract with the BBC and have so far failed to gain an audition. Pilkington sits unwittingly through their act, including singers Jack Hilton and Patricia Kirkwood, barely noticing it while he reads the newspaper. He discovers that they have caused his puncture. He storms off in anger. Meanwhile, Askey and Murdoch have found themselves in the countryside. Needing somewhere to live, they go to a local estate agent hoping to pick up a cheap cottage. Instead, they are offered a castle for PS3 rent, which the owner is trying to get off his hands as it is haunted. After they settle down in the castle, they begin to experience a number of sinister happenings which occur despite the estate agent's insistence that there is a perfectly natural explanation for everything. When they encounter Jasper Blackfang, a ghost who claims to haunt the place, they flee and take shelter at the nearby Jack in the Box restaurant. Emboldened by the realization that the ghost is in fact the caretaker of the castle, they discover a television studio inside the castle, which the caretaker claims is being used by a pirate commercial station. In fact, it is being used by Nazi agents in Britain, but the caretaker is unaware of this. Frustrated by their failure to secure an audition at the BBC, they decide to use the studios to broadcast their own show. Arthur Askey does a performance on the same wavelength as the BBC television station, interrupting a program by Pilkington himself. Pilkington is furious by the interruption, but the pirate show generates huge interest amongst the general public. Pilkington, meanwhile, gets Scotland Yard to hunt down the pirate station. Their determination to find the station is boosted by the realization that the castle contains plans of British planes stolen by the Nazi agents, which are unwittingly held up by Askey during his broadcast. Askey has organized a major hour-long performance which ends in a finale with where the police, BBC officials, and Nazi agents all converge on the castle, while a time bomb is ominously ticking down. The program is such a roaring success that the BBC are eventually forced to grant ASCII, Murdoch, and their associates their own show. Cast Soundtrack The Melody Maker by Noel Gay and Frank Eiten performed by Jack Hilton, Patricia Kirkwood and Chorus with Jack Hilton and his band and the Sherman Fisher Girls. The Only One Who's Difficult Is You by Noel Gay and Clifford Gray performed by Richard Murdoch. Patricia Kirkwood and Arthur Askey with Jack Hilton and his band. After Dark by Noel Gay. Heaven Will Be Heavenly by Harry Parr Davis and Roma Campbell Hunter performed by Patricia Kirkwood and Chorus. A Pretty Bird by Kenneth Blaine performed by Arthur Askey. Boops a Daisy by Annette Mills performed by Patricia Kirkwood, Richard Murdoch, Jack Hilton and Arthur Askey. And Wagon theme song by Harry S. Pepper performed by the chorus during the opening credits and reprised at the end by Jack Hilton and his band. Big Hearted Arthur by Robert Rutherford and Frank Wilcock performed by Arthur Askey. Old King Cole traditional nursery song performed by Arthur Askey, Richard Murdoch, and the trio of Charlie Forsyth, 
Annie Seaman, and Eleanor Farrell.